South Africa is a great country to get real value for money out of a convertible. I mean, it's pretty much sunshine all year round, and in summer, when the sun does go down, it's still warm enough to drive around with the top down. That's probably the reason we've got such a huge variety of convertibles on the market. Everything from the tiny Daihatsu Copen to the massive wafty land barge that is the Rolls-Royce Drophead. The convertible we've got today, though, is somewhere in between those two. This is the Mercedes-Benz E-Class Cabriolet, and although it sits somewhere between the Copen and the Roller, it's still towards the upper end of the scale in terms of cost. Our E500 test car, without any options, will require you to hemorrhage 900,000 Rand, which is a lot, even for this mobile tanning salon. As a good starting point though, this car does look like a million bucks. I mean, look at it. It's got style, aggression, class all rolled into one. It's not what you'd call curvy, but all those straight lines and angles give it a real sense of momentum and forward movement, even when it's standing still. And the optional AMG kit on our test car just adds to what is already a very good looking car. My default reaction to any converted to convertible version of a car is to think of the styling as a compromise. The folding roof, which is canvas in this case, naturally can't be exactly the same shape as the fixed roof, and sometimes those subtle differences destroy some of the impact. But with its tan-coloured top and everything else that goes into making this car convertible, I have to concede that this is even prettier than the original, with the roof up or down. But you'll want to keep the top down because of the noise that this thing makes. It's a 5.5 litre V8 with 285 kilowatts and 530 newton meters. Not to 100 time is a very impressive 5.3 seconds, but if you test that out too often, you'll find that you're drinking about 20 litres of fuel per 100 kilometres. But as far as I can tell, people who drive cars at this end of the budget scale are generally insensitive to the petrol price. So they won't have any qualms about enjoying this motor to the full, and there is a lot to enjoy, even when you're just cruising around. And if you want to indulge in some mildly antisocial behavior, you can do things like this. Of course, high speed and no roof does impact on ride comfort. Once you get going, the cabin tends to fill up with air that buffets around the place. So make sure you get the optional air cap, an ingenious device to cut all that annoyance out. We recently drove the E63 AMG, a monster of a machine with a mismatched interior. Being an E-Class as well, this cabriolet obviously has a very similar setup, but somehow it's just so much better. It's got everything you'd expect of a 900,000 Rand interior, from the electrically adjustable heated seats to the onboard hard drive navigation and audio system. Then there's the stylish mix of elements from the tanned leather to the brushed aluminium and really great materials. Besides everything else, this interior is what makes this E-Class so good. That's of course assuming that you're the driver. I had it in my head that because this is an E-Class, there'd be a respectable amount of room in the back, but there isn't. Access is easy enough, but once you're in, it's snug, and you'll want the roof down because that's the only way you'll get any headroom. If you're the driver, space isn't the only thing for which you can be thankful. Because under your right foot you have command of the super smooth V8. Now make no mistake, there is a lot of power here, but this car just doesn't care. The power's not there to impress anyone, 
it's there, just in case. Just in case you want to overtake or get away from the flag seller at the traffic lights in a hurry. Despite what Mercedes-Benz may tell you, this is not a sports car. It's a really accomplished cruiser. Even if you drop it into sport mode and use the paddles, it just doesn't feel like it wants to be thrown about the place. But if you don't believe me, you can try for yourself and then you'll see how the electronic nannies light up the dashboard and cut the power. And you'll feel how the back end starts to become a little bit loose and then all that convertible shakiness comes to the fore. And all those things are telling you to take it easy and enjoy this car for what it is. Which is a comfortable, good looking, capable cabriolet. It combines all those elements that make for relaxed driving and adds some fresh air to the mix. And considering where this car has come from, that's quite an achievement. And I don't mean Germany, I mean the hardtop E-Class, which is a serious executive sedan. But by removing the roof and adding some open-air comforts, Mercedes-Benz have transformed this car into something quite different from the original, and something quite special. The 5.5 V8 up front is a superior piece of engine building. Smooth, refined and very strong, it delivers no matter what your driving mood. The E-Class Cabriolet is everything you'd expect of an almost million rand car, with style and a really enjoyable ride setup. As long as you're not in the back, and you're not trying to corner too hard. 